वेलकम आय एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र साळोके आय प्लेड बेनोनी डिफेन्स विथ मेनी चेस इंजिन्स आणि इंजिन्स लाईक हाऊदिनी नाईन लेटेस्ट वर्शन अँड इट वॉ आय हॅड अ ग्रेट डिफेट इन मेनी मूव्ज but then i found a method uh, which is uh, more comfortable and useful for black so i thought i'll share that method with you so benuni starts with d4 knight f6 c4 c5 so in benuni he pushes the pawn black to uh, c5 offers that the uh, pawn as gambit so obviously the most common move by white is d4 now as per theory i have seen that the most uh, from the explorer data i have seen that b5 is the most common move played by black and after that white plays c cross b5 and uh, these both the pawns become troublesome for black actually the next po- popular move is e6 now what happens is if you play e6 white captures this and now you cannot take with the d pawn because then there are chances that uh, white will exchange the queens and you disturb your castle also but anyway we are in this game we are disturbing the castle so you have to take the pawn with a pawn like this and you create a hole here at f7 not very bad I, uh, actually but some i was not comfortable with this move so i found out the third choice which is d6 and then i was very comfortable stopping is white pawn there and then white will play knight c3 supporting this pawn now you can play e6 because now he captures the pawn with the d pawn then you can capture with bishop and you are uh, comfortable your b- uh, bishop is developed also uh, bishop g5 obvious reply is bishop e7 so defending this knight e4 very common move e4 most of the games i found that white plays this e4 knight how oh. now there is a very tactical move here i just made the move and then said it a very tactical uh, move is available here which is knight cross d5 now what the white thinks immediately and many times i have seen that the players feel that if you capture the black bishop with uh, white bishop then uh, you uh, black will capture with the queen and knight also will go but it's not that because if it captures sick uh, oh here he has captured this but if he captures with the bishop then knight can capture that bishop so you get one pawn Uh, so it's not wise actually to capture but here is capture the knight and black has captured the bishop now he takes the bishop to b5 and check this is also a common check in many this thing karo ka and other moves other openings also this diagonally check is given this diagonal is open but at the same time it can block uh, the diagonal with either bishop d7 or knight d7 
or say queen d7 if uh, none of these are available so three uh, pieces are there which can block this knight's check but here then i again found on the chess engine what is the best move in this position so it said king to f8 not to block the way of the bishop but move the king and disturb the castle and that turns out to be the really best move now knight to f3 threatening the bishop but bishop has got a support from a queen but he moves bishop to e7 white castles e5 takes queen to d3 a6 and threatens this bishop this is also a common move to threaten the bishop here and make it uh, run away so again uh, bishop goes to a4 again you move the pawn to b5 and again bishop has to move moves to c2 creating a sort of a battery here with the queen that is also dangerous but presently this pawn is not moving h5 now black attacks from the king side that was the entire purpose of moving the king and disturbing the castle so that you can uh this rook stays on the h file and we can attack through h file black thinks of attacking from the queen side h4 b4 h3 is not uh, white has not taken any cognizance of this uh actually this is not a actual game taken place i have just analyzed the moves and what are is suggested by the engine i have taken that so engine suggested this move now b cross c5 i don't know why the engine didn't take care of this attack here h cross g2 rook e1 queen d7 king g2 king cross g2 queen goes to s3 straight and gives a check with the help of this bishop king goes to g1 bishop goes to g4 threatening this knight uh, takes the bishop d1 to support the knight bishop g5 and he wants to take of course the bishop here to f4 and attack this pawn on h2 c cross d6 bishop f4 bishop e2 bishop cross h2 king goes to h1 bishop f4 and check from the queen king g1 and queen to h1 and checkmate so this way what i have learned and this is a game i have learned uh, from the engine and studies and i do not say that you play like this i am not responsible if you play like this but uh, for my reference i am making it and saving it so that i can look at this game many times and now what i have actually observed is d4 and f6 c4 c5 d5 and d6 is the best move here and second thing we have seen is that when you get a check from the bishop here this position the best move is king to f8 uh, given by the engine of course it's not given by me so if you find it useful okay uh please uh, keep watching thank you for watching and uh,
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब